ご旅行の際にはぜひオービタルエアを選びます Interest you in a Prime BD? Sure, and I go. Hold it, house rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm hmm, doors open. Have fun input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. It's hopeless. The whole world is fucked. Hey. Get you something. What's on the menu? I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know she's here. Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. I'll do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what Nothing's wrong. Point, girl, really? like Why don't you just tell me the truth? had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No I'm idea waiting. if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. 
Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo is still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Like anything else? No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Yeah, exactly what you mean. Sorry, I didn't mean so to. So what's on the tape? I'll do whatever I can. Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up, mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm, BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Mm. Judy's course, always been there for me. It'll be just like you said. Always helped out. Mm. Yeah, I trust yeah, her. I'm ready. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. 
best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gotta make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Look, I'm no beady virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample to get to know the editor. Now let me see, where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. I want to see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. I felt I could feel the guy's pain, his dress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode.
sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. Go in. Get out. And we sell the BD to the cycle reasons. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And rem remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. up in analysis mode you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough this tech records everything every little detail even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of to see the sources of the recorded sensory signals switch to the audio layer in the editor go ahead and try that now good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of six, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah, Serpentine. Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Now, let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fuck... I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See 
that, they shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here while I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She... I felt a fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled.
Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Are you? I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father is a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change. And he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide right. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. 
At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I got an idea. Be right back. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Like this. 
Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win, so be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Things look. 
looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her match. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that buy. To work then, Mr. V.